All right, it's muscle time. In this, we have the leg muscle. Look at that thing, it's a long leg. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of give to it. I guess it's experiencing rigor mortis. Uh, what do I know? I'm not a coroner or whatever it is, whoever does that sort of thing. Okay, let's look at some muscles here. Uh, so the best way to look at the leg muscles is to break them down based off section. Front, back, up, low, that sort of thing. So since we're looking at the front upper, let's start off at the back upper. Because why not? Uh, let's start off with something kind of easy. So the back part of the upper leg. And so the ones that everybody kind of knows, gluteus maximus, this thing right here. Okay, gluteus maximus, it's one down. Underneath that, we have another glute. Uh, oof, that came off nicely. Oof, got lucky. Uh, the gluteus medius. Gluteus medius. Focus up. There we go. Right there. Look at that. Gluteus medius. I got nothing for that. Yeah, it's there. Uh, I always like the name Maximus. I don't know. For the gluteus maximus. It's got a nice, I don't know, old school sounding name to it. I don't know if I get by with naming a kid or that, but maybe a dog or something. Maximus. Uh, kind of muscle it's like a transformer or something like you know Maximus Prime in those Optimus Prime Maximus would have worked. Let's be honest Anyway uh, Continuing on with the leg going on down biceps femoris found here Biceps femoris now it's kind of like the biceps But for your femur hey, oh hence femoris. Oh, all right uh, That's an option biceps femoris Then right next to that the sister muscle, the semitendinosus. I don't know if it's actually the sister muscle, it's just close to each other. But semitendinosus, semi this whole thing. And then the semimembranous. Now it's kind of tucked away there. Look at that cute little thing. Just hiding away, just sticking, peeking its little head out of its little burrow. It's like a little chipmunk. Like, Come on out here, little muscle. Anyway, that's the semimembranous. Hanging out. Upper leg of the back. Okay. Uh, all right, moving on. So let's now go, I guess we'll go, no, you know what, let's keep it with the upper leg. Let's keep it the up tab, up top. All right, look at this, nice looking meat there. What do we got next? Uh, I actually like a lot of the upper leg muscles. A lot of these muscle names in general I'm a big fan of. I think they're awesome sounding names. Uh, I got a nice mix of like latin -y stuff in there or something. I don't know, it's amazing. Uh, so let's go with one of my favorites. Uh, let's see if we prop this puppy up there. Look at that. Okay, tensor, fascia, latte. If you're tense, you get a latte. Uh, and you have to go outside to get it, or you sit outside, like in the patio. I actually don't like lattes that much. I'm not a big coffee fan in general. Uh, I'm a tea man. Hot or cold, let me some tea. But tensor, fascia, latte. Get you a nice latte when you're tense and you sit outside, and this muscle's on the lateral side of the body. Tensor, fascia, latte. <laughs> All right, one of my favorites there. Keeping it going. Before we get to the, uh, the quads here, let's ignore those for the moment and instead look at some other ones. So prop this thing up. Good. Governor, this is difficult. Okay. So now we're on this side. This is our view. Okay. Durgacillus. It's on the medial side of the leg right here. This big mu muscle goes right down the middle there. So... I don't know. If you do the splits, you know, gotta be pretty graceful for that. Well, this is this is gonna be uh, at, a, at a tough time doing that motion, I suppose. Any sense to me? I'm overall pretty flexible, I think, but uh, that's not for me. Uh, Sartorius. Love this thing. Sartorius. Kind of reminds me of Glorious, and there's a pretty good wrestling theme song by, um, what's his name? Rude. Bobby Rude, I think it is. Anyway, it's a good song if you're looking for something to kind of lift you up. Glorious. Anyway, it's Sartorius, and it's this thing right here. I love this thing. Sartorius, right around there, just kind of like a, a sash around the leg. Look at that sucker. Man, I love the Sartorius. Gracilis, I don't know, it's, it's just like a little graceful muscle, I guess. I don't know, I always think about it that way. It doesn't really help me with where it's found, you know, but it's there. Darth Christmas. Okay, uh, we got those. Now it's time to focus on the quads. So, I'm trying to, there we go. This thing does not bode well, or hold well. So, let's start off. Now, this is the hot dog. Remember that. So, the hot dog of the leg. Uh, I have to go for a hot dog right now. There's some nice mustard on it. Man. Anyway, the rectus femoris is the actual hot dog itself. Look at that. 
Looks just like a hot dog. It's red. It's got some weird stuff in the middle of it. You don't quite know what it is. Man, that's good. It's like quality. Now, the next part is you want to figure out, all right, medial versus lateral side, right? Because we got the three vastus. And so the vastus lateralis is we're going to start with. Because note, we're on looking at the, this is the lateral side of the leg. So it's going to be right here. Vastus lateralis. And note, just above that is the tensor fascia latte. That thing just won't go away. Silly little tensor. Man, I love that muscle. It's so cool. Such an awesome name. Uh, then we have vastus medialis. It's on the medial side of the leg. So down here. And notice it's kind of covered up a little bit by the sartorius muscle. Okay. Now to see the vast. Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry for the little break there. That was my phone quote recording or something. I don't know what happened. Anyway. We've got three, two, uh, the first two vastus covered, lateralis and medialis. We've done the rectus femoris. So to finish out the quads, hence four, there's muscles there. Uh, let's look. We've got to peel back the rectus femoris. And then look what's labeled right there for us. Uh, obviously, it won't be that way on our exam. Practical, but the vastus intermedius hanging out in there, the bottom of the bun, the least favorite part of the bun, because the vastus make up the bun that covers the hot dog. What would the much mustard be, or the relish, the ketchup, whatever that is? Well, yeah, nothing. Uh, there isn't one. So just a plain hot dog, which that sounds pretty terrible. Uh, anyway, now let's go to the lower leg. Lower leg gets a little tricky. None of the other ones are pretty easy, but there's some, there's some trickiness there. Let's go with the back. Now, I've always been a big fan of this one muscle coming up next. Uh, big, big fan. It is the gastronemus. So on the back of the leg, the calf, the big muscle. Gastronemus. Gastronemus. Uh, awesome little muscle. So sometimes in, in various experiments, you can actually do, uh, in physiology experiments, you can do experiments with the gastronemus. And so at one time with a frog, I peeled off its gastronemus and we put like signals through it and we could see it jump. So it's a pretty common little muscle you can do stuff like that with. Uh, it's really neat. Gastronemus. Again, an awesome name. Gastronemus. Like, man, what a name. Like, just, man, that's awesome. Make some other names like some of his muscles. It just seems so lame. It's like, uh, you know, that's that's the best you got. I'm like, come on, man, gastronemus. That's that's a name. Whew. awesome. Uh, while we're back there, I have a sneaky little muscle. You gotta peel off this layer. Come on now. Oh boy, this is this is gonna this is gonna take a tumble. Let's turn our leg over. So now there's our gastronemus. Let's peel off this one. Fat head of his gastronemus. Come on now. Get. Okay. Soleus. Soleus. So this kind of reminds me of Sidious, which is a Sith Lord in Star Wars, or so Darth Soleus. And Darth Sidious likes to stay hidden, which is this muscle likes to stay hidden behind the gastronemus. Soleus. All right. And now we have the trickiest muscles of the bunch. Let's go ahead and pop the gastronemus, the rest of that off. Come on now. Get. Okay. What we got? Uh, tibialis posterior. Right here. Tibialis posterior. It's on the back of the tibia. Huh? Huh? Oh, and then uh, flexor digitorum longus. So we're going to flex the digits. So again, you want to think about a muscle. That's the main idea is you want to take these little toesies down here and make them turn down that way. So what muscle do you need to do to that? Well, you need a flexor. This is that muscle. So right here. So you can see where it follows down to connect, kind of goes underneath, and so it'll connect to those little toesies and cause them to curl up. So, yeah, I'll flex your digital arm. And then to close this out, the last of the muscles of the leg, you have to know, tibialis anterior, the front of the tibia. Bada boom, right here, check it out. Tibialis anterior. And that's it. So hopefully that helps. Looking over some of the muscles, you could see it on the practical on different models, but overall pretty similar uh, in structure. It's not like the sartorius is in a completely different way on, on another leg because that's not really how it works. I hope that helps and also keep up with your origins, insertions, and actions. You know, you definitely have to know those. A lot of times location, well, it does play a role. You know, where that muscle is can help you on those clues, on what it does, where it's attached to, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, good luck. And uh, enjoy watching muscle videos of random organs like legs.